Hello everyone, this is Skarzig, and welcome back to another episode of The Darkest Dungeon. Uh, today we're going to go on a short mission, and it looks like some of the party members that I've been wanting to bring for a while seem to have fallen together to uh, for this short uh, Warren's mission. Clawville, our other Plague Doctor besides Patches, I've been wanting to take out for a while, it just didn't seem like the right moment. But uh, with a short mission like this, I think she'll do well. Considering uh, with the stun grenade, once I get everybody with the correct abilities, um, that combines really well with Nobunaga, which I'm deciding to bring on this quest as well. Because of finish him, again, extra damage to stun targets. We also have Chimera coming along for the ride with the manacles being able to stun and get that extra damage in. We also have the ability for Chimera, of course, to transform if things get dicey. And if that happens, I'm able to bring our Jester along to uh, de-stress the party so we'll see if uh how that goes down he needs to be in row again row three or four to use the inspiring tune so i think we are good to go in terms of party composition but there's a couple things i wanted to take care of around town in the hamlet let's see what did i do i made some quick upgrades i went to the guild and i uh had a bunch of portraits and crests still available so those are ones that you accumulate a lot of. So I went ahead and used those to just fill out the training regimen. So the cost of upgrading my skills is very low. That'll save me a lot of money in the long run. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe upgrade a couple of those now. Yeah, see 150 a piece. That's awesome. So we'll just get extra on finish him and extra on maybe hook and slice. That seems about right. And maybe on Collect Bounty. This does extra damage versus humans. And since we're going to the Warrens, those uh, pig creatures count as beasts and as men at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. So it'll be nice to get a little bit of value out of that. Um, can we upgrade Chimera's skills? Yeah, sure. Upgrade the Manacles. Um, the Beast Spile. I think the, the pigs and stuff are uh, have really high Blight Resist, so that might, me might not be a good idea but oh wow you can upgrade uh transform just in case we need that i guess and we'll upgrade absolution so he has a stronger heal really digging this uh who else who else i was thinking about whether or not i wanted to cure dank hearts uh hysterical blindness this route but i don't maybe maybe i will but probably not right now who else do we want to take to the guild hmm now, Clawville's going to be in slot 4, so I, I don't need Incision. I do need a 4th skill then besides. Uh, Battlefield Medicine sounds like a good idea to take along. And Clawville's level 0, so we can't upgrade any of those skills. I think, yeah, I think that that'll be good for now. Um, I do have 23 Deeds, so I think I want to upgrade my roster. Because I did take a look at the Stagecoach. I think I want to pick up the other Hellion and this Grave Robber, I think is really good because of natural eye uh, might as well pick it up i think and i've been i haven't run into anything that i really wanted to take off the stage coach skate stage coach lately but you know i still want another occultist one hasn't come around for me yet so we'll, we'll have to increase the size of our uh barracks eventually so i figured we'd do it now we'll take those two and yeah, I think that's really all we wanted to do. I put Brimstone in for Stress Relief. Right now we have the um, one good week where everybody's passive stress healing is increased. But he's way too stressed out where it's not going to work. Emery is sort of borderline. So I think I'll just leave him alone. Probably won't use him for another dungeon or two. Save some value that way. But man, should I, cl should I clear this? Let's see how much it costs. I suppose is the real question 650 yeah I think we can spare that and I also need to start worrying about um, doing the wards and stuff where I can lock in their good quirks and start getting rid of the bad ones because that's really expensive once they get the little uh, skull and they become severe they they're really really uh, expensive to remove 
Hmm. Increases number of patient cells, reduces the cost of sanitarium and quirk treatments. I should have done the, uh, increases the chance of curing extra diseases. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Because I don't need to cure multiple diseases on him. So I, I think that's pretty good. We want to outfit our party with trinkets and then uh, outfit for the quest and then go in. I also want to make sure, because this is something I do all the time, is make sure that that slot is equipped. We got Noxious Blast, Blood Grenade to hit the back, Disorienting Blast. This clears corpses, which will be kind of nice to give our party a little bit more reach. Um, Yeah, so I think this is good. A little bit of healing and curing Blights and Bleeds in the warrens is going to be severely useful okay and i think we might do a low torch run because check this out clawville has uh vengephobia which is plus 20 stress if torch is above 75 and chimera and nobunaga both have night owl where they get extra speed if the torch is really low so that might that was something i was considering while putting this together as well let's take a look at what trinkets we can equip here Hmm. Extra speed. I do like that. Like the stun resist, move resist is kind of meh. But the extra speed. Let me see. Speed 7, speed 6, speed 7, speed 5. I basically want Clawville to go first every single turn no matter what. So that I can get the uh, stun grenade off on the back line. That's going to be huge for us. Um, ooh. Plus 15% damage on melee skills. I think I might actually give that to Chimera because the stun is a melee skill, is it not? Manacles. It's a range skill. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so we will... How do I unequip? Oh yeah, I gotta ring the trinkets. Goodness, some, sometimes these menus are, are a bit clunky. But we'll unequip that. We'll give it to Nobunaga instead because he's got... Um, he's got melee skills. What do we want to give to you? Accuracy, melee skills, plus max HP, plus 25% damage versus unholy. Hmm. Those are for crusaders. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is, it gives you plus 10% stress though. Not really worth it, I think. That would be if I'm doing like a completely darkness-based run. I kind of want to ease myself into it. Leper only. Uh, this might be good, honestly. Extra HP. Don't really need it, though. 19, 22, 26. Maybe give it to you. He, he already has low, low dodge already because he has um, Clumsy. So I think we'll, we won't go overboard with the trinkets. We'll just go with those for now. And because, again, this is a short dungeon. I'm doing the warrants also because this is looks like a really good trinket for the occultist where it gives you extra crit and damage versus eldritch enemies. So I think that's good to go. We'll provision. Um, we do want medicinal herbs. I do remember that because you can use them to get extra food out of, like, some of the curios that you find along the way. We'll take a skeleton key. Maybe three torches. Four couple shovels and I'm gonna kind of bitch out and get extra food just to supplement my healing a bit and you never know who's gonna get hungry so let's do it alrighty the warrens is full of disease and blight in equal measure come prepared to deal with sickness and we got extra scouting chance because he's got Warren's Explorer. And Clawville's got Warren's Explorer. So we're gonna, probably going to scout this whole dungeon. We want to explore 90% of rooms. So I guess we'll just move up this way. Oh god, right off the bat. I brought two shovels, thank the lord. I thought I only brought one for a second. Pile of bones. Eh, search it. Oops bloodthirsty fascinated with injury wounds and torture that's not good i think you're supposed to pour holy water on those dim light oh it's on so clavel gets to go first because of that speed charm 
we're going to Noxious Blast. What the hell? Oh, wait, no, it's a uh, Stun Plague Grenade? Wait a minute. Oh, God, I messed up my, my skills again. So I don't have the the CC grenade for the back line. They have really high blight resist, too. Damn it. Damn it, that's what I built this party around. So I guess we just stun him. Oh my god, I failed so hard. Why do I do that? And now he's got a disease. <sighs> I thought I had it on lock. I always get the Plague Doctor's skills all mixed up. Eh, so let's just get this out of the way right now and probably transform. And just get this cleared out. We're probably going to be relying on the Abomination to really... Clear out these enemies for us. Then we can also de-stress with the inspiring tool. I think we're going to go for harvest though. Because this bleeds. Okay, cool. It's really unfortunate because again, the swines have high blight resist. So Clawville's kind of dead weight for us right now. Um, let's see. Two. You die to the bleed. Ten. Two damage. Collect bounty. Again, extra damage versus uh, humans. Oh, that's right. It only hits the front, too. Damn, 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 damn. All right. Ooh, thank God. Okay, a crit. Nicely done. A little bit of stress heal off of that. Okay. So then we'll go for a disorienting blast on you. Gets stunned, but doesn't get shuffled around, and that's fine. Piggy dies. Uh... Yeah, Rake, if you keep using it over and over again, it, it buffs itself. And... I suppose we can just do... He can't hit the front. Interesting, interesting. That's cool, that's cool. Resisted the bleed, too. Do we get one more hit? Perfect. Uh, so that fight wasn't too bad. But... Man, I'm really mad at myself for uh, not taking that stun skill. Can I equip in the equip stuff in the middle of the dungeon? See, I didn't I didn't even learn it. The blinding gas, that's what it's called. But oh, I can swap my skills around in the middle of the dungeon, but um, let's see, because you have to be in row three. I suppose that it only matter if Clavel gets shuffled. Eh. But anyway. Again, this is a short dungeon, so... Maybe it won't be that bad. On to the next room. We got a battle coming up. Maggots. Alright. So... Disorienting Blast... Resisted the stun. Oh, they have 100% stun resist. That's right. One damage off. Because these things cause diseases, and I don't want more of that nonsense. Uh, does it matter? Okay, cool. These critical hits are really helping me out. Giving me a little bit of stress healing. Grape nibble, no disease, no nothing. Whew. Okay, cool. Um, little inspiring tune on myself to heal some stress. Digging it, digging it. And... Yeah, we can just hit him. Because he transforms back at the end of the fight. Gets a free heal. Everybody gets a free stress heal. Okay. Shuffle back. Nice. Kirio coming up and then uh, room battle with treasure. Getting a lot of food. So I think we might be good in terms of... Hmm. 
chance of us being surprised in this next fight. You know what? Let's let's go in. Let's go in. Let's just let's just do it up. We get better treasure this way. At least try to make the most of uh, the situation we got. What's that do? Marks me and reduces my dodge. So he's going to be tanking a lot of damage. We'll throw the blight grenade back there. He'll most likely resist. Wow, he got blighted and this thing resisted. They've got 100% blight resist. Not having that stun is just destroying me right now, I have to say. Um, what I think I want to do is come hither on the swine drummer. If I can pull him to the front here, then Rake will hit both of them. This is really good because now Harvest can hit these two guys in the middle. And then we transform and Rake to hit the front too. Boom. Really nice hit there. He'll die to the Blight, I'm pretty sure. And Clawville does have the ability to, clear, to cure uh, Blights and Bleeds. So I think that I can just power my way through this dungeon. Wow, he gets to go again? Alright, break it up, my friend. Nice. Okay. And then we will inspiring tune ourselves. Um, we get to finish him. That hits the third. Yep. Just get that hit in. And yeah. Get a nice cure there. A little bit of healing. Dig it. Now, got to get the fourth row going on here. And I should probably unequip that stupid knife skill and put the disorienting blast back on. Oh wait, no, I have it. It's the um the single target blight that can hit the front row because it, it'll come in more handy than this skill. I think that I'm never probably going to use ever. But the disorienting blast is good again because it clears all corpses, so he stuns and gets brought forward. Nice. So let's let's transform back so that the team gets a stress heal because we're down to just one enemy and we'll do manacles even though he's already stunned but it um still does damage and yeah another inspiring tune nice jester saving me money already finish him even though i used to collect bounty there and we got a key for this chest. Nice. More food. All right. Nobunaga coming around carrying the team here. Really sad about that um, that disease, though. He picked up hysterical blindness. And the torches are getting low, my friends. Let's go. Now, 2317 torch means they'll have extra speed. So, going first and... What? Can't believe I didn't scout that. Even though I have like a bunch of extra scouting chance. That's wiggy whack. There it is. Nothing in this room. Hmm. Obstacle. I do have a shovel. Yikes. Don't want that. Ooh. Salvage an unburned torch. And food. <laughs> Holy crap. They're, they are feeding me right now. Eat the food. What are you doing? Nice. And another torch. We want to keep things crispy. There we go. I was waiting for the torch to go down to uh, to 20 there. In case this is... We get another battle. So that their speed bonuses will activate some curios. Nice. Because we're just going to loop around like this. This is just about exploring rooms and surviving. Uh, we'll skip the pile of bones. We'll skip out on the bones. It's weird. Like, when the torch is low, it seems to burn out a lot faster. Is that just me? Another trap! Curious is the trap maker's art. Uh, at least he didn't get bleeded, but that's, that's a lot of stress now. Crikey. We're almost done. I think I only need to make it to the next room. Wow. 
Ew, you hear the gross, like, pig squeals in the back? Do I want to read this? Eh. Screw it. Oh, no. It's unsettling. Look at this stress. The value. It's slipping away. Oof. Another trap! <laughs> Holy crap! I'm getting absolutely destroyed by these traps. That was my last torch, wasn't it? Hey, quest complete. All right, let's let's get the hell out of here. Jesus. <sighs> that stunk. I mean, we didn't meet much opposition, so I guess that's good. But they got stressed out from doing that low dark run. Good quirk, good quirk. Claustrophobia, meditator. Improve stress reduction while meditating and while camping. Okay. That'll do. If only the good week would carry over. Wow. The, the passive uh, stress heals really didn't do that much for them. So I think I was relying on it a bit too much. Uh, but I guess we can check the stagecoach. Another abomination. It's Iliant. Plus 10% stress heal, but he's a dud hitter. I don't care about crit necessarily. So that's cool. I might take him because that's a really good ability. Especially on an abomination who can self stress heal. Beast hater. Extra damage versus beasts. And eagle eye. Extra crit. That's really good. Now we're talking. See, not so good there. Fear of beasts. Yeah, see, not so good there. Um, but yeah, these two. Noise. And it's like this This episode's kind of short because that dungeon was short, but I got really screwed over. I think I could squeeze in another run if I put together a party pretty quickly. Uh, Arbalest. Ooh, now that's cool. That's a medium quest, though. Oh, man. I think we're going to go for that next turn, next time. Let's see. This is a level 3 dungeon. Don't really care about Jester Tambourine. Uh, what do we... Because I really, I really choose my quests based on trinkets most of the time. Because those are the items that you're going to be carrying with you constantly. Right? So I think that this is worth it. It's a medium dungeon. Uh, so at least, I think, for this episode, um, we're already going on almost 20, a little bit over 20 minutes. So I suppose we can put together our party for this uh, medium dungeon. So we will be camping. And we got to put our guys in stress healing for sure, because we we basically made our money back. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna lose a lot of it, of course, trying to heal this stress. And hysterical blindness perhaps isn't that that worrisome of a quirk to have. Hmm. And depending on our composition, maybe we can break in these new party members. And it is only a level 1 dungeon, so I don't have to go, like, all out. Violet would be really good, I think. A medium dungeon, we'd get tons of loot. So I think we'll bring her along. And we got that incense that get that increases her healing skill. Um, so then we really have to go in with the damage if we're bringing her. Might be nice to bring Boulder back out, just to swing his big-ass sword around and carry the team. Although... Hmm... Plus healing skills while camping. Armor Tinker. Yeah, it might be good to bring a uh, Hellion. Because we can rely on camping to kind of keep our HP up. So I kind of like how this is shaping up. Eliza's level 2. Ruja is also level 2, isn't she? Yeah, so that's a bit overkill. So maybe we break in the uh, new Grave Robber. And then somebody for slot two. Maybe break in our new highwayman. He's got Eagle Eye and Beast Hater. So he's gonna be doing work against the um against the pigs. Yeah, so I think that this will be our party. Um we'll probably 
uh, Athena has armor tinker, so we're definitely going to upgrade her armor and try to make her as strong as possible to carry a level zero party, essentially, because we have the antiquarian. Uh, yeah, so really digging this so far. And I think that that's going to work because uh, we can give our highwayman duelist advance and then have Violet use protect me so that he takes the hit, counters back, does bonus damage, and then just healing. I can make sure to bring medicinal herbs so that we can maybe get some extra food out of the place. Yeah, so I think this is this might work, guys. This might work. And then figure out the trinket situation. And that will be next time on the Darkest Dungeon. I'll see you then, and you have a good one.